everyone we are starting a week in my life I'm sitting on my floor right now it's tuesday it's like 4 it's almost 5 p.m i have an event tonight i'm eating the trader joe's chicken soup dumplings they are so good my trader joe's has a whole freezer section just full of them but these are just like an easy little snack you know just to have whenever you don't feel like making anything and i'm going to an event like i said oh and the sun is coming in my room is a mess <laughs> so many things are going on and there's an ambulance going by so i'm gonna wait one thing about these though they like are very hot i burnt my mouth oh my gosh so good i think they have pork ones too but i have an event tonight for murad i believe is how you say it it's a skincare brand i think one of their um acne treatments went viral last year or something like that because christina told me about it and i got it whenever i was breaking out and guys my skin is so much better ever since i stopped using that retinol like dr dennis gross said and i've just been using that um i've just been using those exfoliating pads my skin just didn't agree i guess with the prescription i had which was try it so maybe i'll try a different one later in life but so right now i was just focused on clearing up my skin so i'm happy but anyways Murad has that like acne treatment and I used it last year a lot. I really, really like it. So I'm excited to go to the event tonight. I'm probably going to look not super cute. I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup. I'm just going to go for a little bit. Um, I'm just kind of tired. Yesterday I had a long day. I was at the gastroenterologist for a while and they were like doing blood work and everything on me. I thought that SIBO medication, I told you guys I've had IBS forever. <laughs> it feels like um, probably since like college. And I've been trying to like find treatments or just like things that will help me and nothing really has helped me. And I thought, I told you guys I was on an antibiotic because they thought I had SIBO and I took it for two weeks and it didn't. At first I thought it was helping and then it stopped. So I went to a new doctor just to get a second opinion. I loved my previous doctor, but I do think it's always good to get a second opinion. So I went to a new practice yesterday, saw a new doctor. He was really sweet. He did a bunch of blood work on me. I'm going to eat this dumpling. Yeah, I, he did blood work and stuff like that. I had to do a stool sample, which was a lot. I've done one before. So I was doing that all yesterday, and they want me to get a colonoscopy, which I really don't want to do, but I probably should because I've just been trying to figure out everything, and hopefully it's just nothing more serious. So I might do that. <laughs> So I just had like a long day yesterday and I was just like editing a bunch of footage that I didn't really feel like vlogging. But vlogging now, clean up my room because as you can tell, it's a little messy behind me. And then I'm going to leave in like an hour to go to the event and I'll vlog bring you guys along. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, okay. Here is my outfit. Very boring. I just wanted to throw something on. It's hot outside. So I really have any makeup on to it, just so like lip blush. All right, let's go to the event. I'm going alone, so I don't know what that really will entail, but let's go. They have a backspace back there, but it's a market. And this is the cutest market ever, and there's different like food. It kind of reminds me of Chelsea Market, but there's also like shops inside here. There's the second floor and first floor. Let's see the first floor. This is the first floor. There's like sandwiches, salads. It's just these little tiny stores and shops and food places. Like, look at this produce. It's pretty close to Seaport, but everything looks so good in here. Flowers, how beautiful. I need to come back here and just spend the day here. You can see this is the building. It's just this big marketplace called the Tim Building. And the FDR is right here. And then Seaport's over there. Pretty close if you're ever in the area. But I really want to come back here now. It's adorable.
I went to that event yesterday and I didn't vlog afterwards. I was just so tired when I got home and I'm also planning a trip with one of my best friends. I'm actually planning like a big trip in May. I'm so excited. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I'm going to Positano again. I kind of like know the area now and like what we want to do. So I don't really, I mean, if you have racks, go ahead. But like, I feel like I know that area pretty well. I'm also going to Paris alone before for a few days. I really want to go thrifting there. So like if you have any great recommendations for Paris thrifting, let me know. Okay, so we're doing Paris, Positano. Then we're doing Apulia in Italy. So if you have any recs for that, let me know. Just like all the other countries and places I'm going. Um, I think we're going to like rent a car there. I'm going with Caitlin and Christina. We're still doing research, so... Yeah, and then they're gonna leave and then I'm going to go to Portugal, Lisbon for five days alone. It's been like really high on my list for a while. And then after that, I'm gonna do Spain, uh, Barcelona, and then I believe the island's called Palma um, with my best friend from home, Brianna. We've been best friends since like first grade. We had a Spain trip plan for whenever I graduated in 2020, but that didn't happen. We were gonna do two weeks in Spain and we had like it all mapped out. We had our flights, but had to cancel everything because the world was not okay then. So we're kind of doing that trip again. So I'm really excited to be traveling. I'm so excited to see all these places. You guys know like I just love traveling so much. I just love to see the world. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited for all these places. Let me know if you have any recs for any of those places. I'm open to anything. You can DM me on Instagram. If you want to leave a comment, let me know. I need all the recs I can get. And I'm excited to travel alone for Paris and Portugal. I've never traveled alone before. Anyway, so last night they gave us goodie bags. So I thought I would show you. First of all, the cutest bag ever. They did really great with the bags you know like this is so cute i feel like i'll use this in the summer at the beach we learned a lot about the product last night which i feel like they did a good job at that because sometimes i go to events and i you know there's just like drinks and stuff and no one's really like talking about the product and you're like what is the product the main product is this retinol serum which the i talked to the girl a lot and i was like oh i was on try prescribed had bad experience like do you think this will break me out and she was like no this is completely different um so you really probably would like this so i'm really really excited to use it um i tried it last night so just on my hand and it felt really good and then i think this is the more intense one she said there was one for like younger skin and one for older skin so i believe the retinol youth renewal serum it's like for the younger one and then the retinol Resculpt overnight treatment is like the more intense one. And then also in here, they have the targeted wrinkle corrector. And then these um, retinal youth renewal eye masks. The brand is Murad. I don't know if I said that, but you probably saw from yesterday. Um, maybe I'll use these right now. I'm gonna put this on right now. Also last night, I went to the event alone. They didn't allow a plus one. I typically take Christina or like one of my friends because it's easier for Christina to go with me because she's also like a content creator so uh, it's easier to like get her in places but I wasn't allowed a plus one last night but a bunch of girls from my management were there and they were so nice so that made me happy. This is like the second time I went to an event alone recently and every time I get so nervous and I'm really scared but both times I've had great experiences so far so that's good very much so getting out of my comfort zone i typically do not like to do things like i like to do things alone for myself but in social settings not really i just feel like awkward and i'm like am i being weird and then i just get like social anxiety but i had a great time okay anyways remove blue mesh from in between masks here we go Apply mask to under eye, bio celsius side down. Girl, I don't know what that means. I think this is right. I hope this is right. I mean, it feels good. Should I get my roller? Let me get my roller. I love this roller I got from Sephora. I keep it in my fridge. So I'm just gonna, oh, roll. I think this is how you use it. I sometimes forget about this product, but I'm trying to get better. 
It's just because I keep it in my fridge, but it's nice and cold. And you can do like, oh, that feels good. All right there. So I'm looking at the viewfinder for to see. Today, I'm going to this new dumplings place in Brooklyn. I'm really excited to try out. I've been into dumplings recently. I guess they just opened one in Brooklyn. It's called Mimi's. They have a few locations. I think they have one in the Lower East Side and Upper West Side and they just opened their brooklyn location they invited me in to try for dinner tonight so i'll vlog it there that's all i really have planned i need to like edit and do some like brand stuff but other than that i'm staying in and then later tonight i will go and adventure out to brooklyn but it's like gloomy and rainy outside anyways many hours later i am getting ready right now to go out to dinner i found this new intimacy top that i showed you guys i think in the last vlog it's so cute oh cozy kind of sheer though so i'm on this like cream bra with it and i think i'm gonna do this and then my redone jeans that i love i always i just love these jeans they're so cute let's put it on the jeans are cute with this and oh it was almost cut i'm just gonna wear my black boots yeah i'm just gonna wear these oh, should i just wear my converse it goes outside yeah i think i'm gonna wear my converse it's like not that nice outside and it's a what's today wednesday we're chill i'm just gonna do these and then yeah this is cute and then um like a what's it called just like a black furry coat that i have i decided to wear these shoes because i haven't worn them in so long now i'm going to jump with I've been dating. Don't know how to move on. fits everything for my groceries and it rolls up really like small which that's what I wanted and but it's still like structured I feel like this would be really cute in the uh, summer it's like a big beach tote too and it's pretty inexpensive I have it down below I feel like that angle was kind of awkward so let's just do this okay so we have the broccoli and kale slaw love this for salads Jenny really hooked us up because this with the where is it? This chicken is an, an amazing salad and it's super easy. So we have that. Then some frozen things about a chicken. I always get this from Trader Joe's. A great meal if you're just like, you need something. Cucumbers for like dips and stuff. Prosciutto. I'm going through a prosciutto phase right now. I like go through this. This is like one of the only, not like lunch meats, but like sliced meats that I actually love. Um, the steamed chocolate soup dumplings. Of course, I should have two of those. I eat those so fast. Um, Jenny also recommended this. She is just a Trader Joe's queen. Uh, this is the organic cold pressed juice green beverage. I don't know. I think I've had it one other time and it was pretty good. So I wanted to get it. I feel like I need some vegetables. Uh, love this organic yellow lentil and brown rice pasta. I should have two of these too, honestly, because I got to those pretty fast. Just like something a little healthier than normal noodles, tomatoes, and jasmine rice. I just ran out of rice, and that is essential in my diet. So I had to pick some up. And then what do we have? Just some cheddar cheese to make wraps. And speaking of wraps, got these. These are whole wheat um, tortillas. So I don't know why, they're kind of small, like the only big ones they had were like the flour tortillas, like why did they not have these in bigger sizes, this is kind of like small, like how am I going to do a wrap, I don't know, we'll figure it out. And then just some minced garlic, I want to make these meatballs this weekend, so I needed 
this because I just don't feel like chopping up garlic. It's just, you know, a hassle. And then I always love um, this from Trader Joe's. This is the Atlantic Salmon with Lemon Herb Butter. You just throw it in the oven. It's super easy. It makes a delicious salmon. I love the butter. Super easy. And that was everything. Yesterday, I didn't vlog. Oh my gosh, my banana just fell apart. We went to that Mimi Chang's place in Brooklyn. They just opened a new location. They have a few in Manhattan too. And the dumplings were so good and they serve them. I typically eat my dumplings with like soy sauce. I served it with this like chili pepper sauce. Oh my gosh and it was amazing. I would go back solely for the sauce. Like the dumplings and the sauce were just incredible. The area was really cute too. I think it was in Cobble Hill area. Tonight is Friday. My friends and I are going out um, so I'm excited for that. Okay I'm going to make breakfast now. I'm taking a little editing break because I just got a package in the mail from this brand called Yes, and I've never heard of it before, but they're a really eco-friendly brand. They messaged me, so I wanted to try on the set that they sent over. I hope it fits, but I thought the colors would look really pretty for my trip. Like, the set would be perfect in, like, Portugal. I got an extra small in both of these pieces. It's just, like, a skirt and then a matching tank top, so let's try it on. I like the colors. It's, like, green and yellow. But the top fits really well. The skirt, honestly, is like a little big for being an extra small on me. But I think it, it's like comfy, you know. But I feel like this would be a cute set in the summer with sneakers, just like casual, my like Converse or something. I feel like that would be cute. And then you could just wear it obviously separate. But it's really good quality and the brand is a cute sustainable company so i'll have them linked down below i just got ready for the night i have on my mare pele top big outfit repeater these days i've worn this outfit before that's just who i am okay and then the skirt i got so long ago from princess polly i believe my west boots i'm just gonna throw my leather coat i'm gonna leave now because i have all the alcohol and michael wants to drink like now i've been sent a lot of alcohol recently which i love so i'm gonna bring it to my friend's night we're gonna drink it and bring in two bottles of tequila try to vlog throughout the night okay let's go down anything <laughs> 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 